and I'm back. Now, before we get in the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon so you never miss one of my new videos. And before we get in the video, uh, I want to tell you some things about coding. Now, uh, what is coding basically? Coding is uh, like something which helps you to make something big yet complex, super fast and quick and easy to use. <laughs> And yeah, it basically speeds up your process. You just write some code, you enter it, and it's done in about uh, 20, 30 minutes. And yeah, it's done. Now, in Minecraft Education Edition, if you want your code application to open, just click C on your keyboard. Now, for Bedrock, that uh, that doesn't happen. The same doesn't happen in Bedrock. If you click C, it ain't working. I'm clicking on C right now. It ain't working. So yeah, it ain't gonna work for Bedrock. That's why we have Code Connection, which will uh we need to which we will have to connect to minecraft bedrock and that will let us code in minecraft bedrock now i have personally tried in minecraft java it didn't work for me so if you guys have any ideas on how to do coding in minecraft java make sure to tell that in the comment section below and yeah so uh coding is basically like code connection is an agent which helps us to connect minecraft and your coding application so yeah and um i'm gonna show you how to connect code connection like how to install and connect it to minecraft so let's just uh, minimize minecraft Minim okay so we have to go to the microsoft store and search in code connection now i have already searched it completely a few times before so i'll need to search okay so you'll see the first thing you'll see is a code connection and the logo will be minecraft code connection well not that it'll show minecraft education edition don't worry it works on all versions i mean not all versions for education and uh bedrock so let's just install install <laughs> yeah it's downloading it's installing okay so once it's downloaded let's open and once it's downloading it'll show this uh, pop-up screen saying please enter the following command in my get education edition now again don't worry guys it'll work on bedrock so you'll see this paste button and the paste button's logo is basically just two papers. So yeah, just click on that and let's minimize this. We don't need Microsoft Store, but I'm still just gonna minimize it. <laughs> so we are back at Minecraft. Now let's just go to F1, uh, I mean F5. So yeah, first let's go to our chat and we have to copy the, like paste it over here. So let's paste that and yeah. Yeah, it has connected, so let's open make code and I will show you some few codes and yeah, let's just uh, go to maximum screen, like, you know, the full screen and let's make one new um, uh, project. Uh, what should we name it? Hmm, I think we'll just name it code connection. <laughs> code connection. <laughs> And <laughs> I had you, okay? You know, I had you. So yeah, you'll see this over here. Now we don't need this on start. So let's just remove that. And our first command is gonna be front. So you might be wondering, what does that do? But uh, yeah, I'll explain it. So there'll be one on chat command. Uh, uh, run, just change that to front. 
you can just name it anything but i'm gonna name it friends so you know what's happening so let's go to agent and let's make it move forward but i guess we can make it five so yeah what does this do well uh i'll tell you when you go to the chat and uh, search for front the agent will go five blocks forward because over here i searched uh, like typed it five now suppose if i uh, change this uh, number five to ten it'll go ten blocks forward so yeah um this forward is very important if you want it to go front so yeah so our next one we just go to player on chat command jump let's just change that to back so back and I'm not gonna keep any capital letters for this, so you know I don't get confused. So yeah, we go back to agent. Now this time we need the agent turn left in a loop. We're gonna keep it in a loop two and yeah two, and then we need to to make. Uh, we need to make it go forward five now you might be confused like forward isn't it supposed to go back well i know guys but i'll explain it so usually when you go back you don't do it like a moonwalk okay <laughs> we don't do it like a moonwalk we turn around and then we turn around our back becomes the front so yeah that's the same over here we don't usually we don't moonwalk if you want to dance yes it's moonwalk but yeah normally we don't moonwalk uh, if you want to go back so yeah <laughs> same goes for the agent so yeah repeat we need to make make it go uh left two times so if uh this is the front of the agent we make it go like this and then this becomes the front <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> And our next one is going to be left. So this is our third, uh, like, basic command. So left foot up. Left foot up. <laughs> we need the agent to turn left. And make it go forward by five. All of these are going to be five, basically. And uh, for, uh, yeah, so uh, you just type in left, it turns left, and when it moves forward, it's basically left. So, yeah. And this is going to be a bit easy. We just duplicate this. We just turn this to right, R-I-G-H-T. And we just change this to right, and basically, it's the same, just the other side, right? So, yeah, your left and right is very simple. And now our last, um, actually, this is our second last one, which is called place. So we do place, uh, place, uh, yeah, not plaque. <laughs> and then, yeah. So we want, uh, to, uh, if we want to place it, we go place forward. Then we need the agent to turn left. And then in a loop, we can do this, uh, yeah, four times is enough. And yeah, so our last command is come. Now, if you remember, we have made Kutumina in Minecraft. And for that, uh, we have used come to, I believe. In my memory, we have used come. So when we type in this, uh, basically, the agent comes to us. So what we need to do is teleport agent to player. So yeah, I think that was our last one. Here are the commands. Front makes it go front. Back makes it go back. Left makes it go left. Right makes it go right. And uh, place is uh, used to make the agent place blocks and come is, uh, is to teleport the you know the agent to us so yeah uh, let's just uh, start it and minimize our code connection now one thing we need to do quick is let's just take a random block because the problem is a place 
that if you don't if the agent doesn't have any blocks in it it's not gonna work so yeah uh so at least it can't place the block so yeah but anyway let's do our first command which is uh come actually this is the first one not the last one so yeah if i like go around this much it's gonna come to me so come come yeah so it came to me and we have to do front front <laughs> your friend so it's gonna go front five times and now i need to go backwards five so back back it should be going back yeah oh that's so cute you're so cute <laughs> and then you need to go make it go left so you know what you have to see the actual purse Perspective. Or you might think I messed it up and for left I made it go right and for right I made it go left. <laughs> so yeah, left, left, yep, that's left, that's left, alright. And now we gotta make it go right, so R I D H T, right, yeah, that's right. So <laughs> now we need it to place blocks, so place, place my agent. So it's basically covering itself up. Good night. <laughs> no, it ain't good. Good night. So yeah, guys, those were your basic commands, and I showed you how to connect a uh, Minecraft code connection. So I guess it's time up. So, anyways, guys, we are doing the intro with our agent boy. <laughs> So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't turn on the notifications bell icon so you never miss one of my new videos. And I'll see you until next time. Goodbye.